Why, oh why, Sheng, why? What are you doing here? Well, it's a bit of an unusual one. Six stitches along here, and then that, and then I've got a broken tooth in here. Ah. There is a lot of uh, English teachers, but French teachers, I think, <laughs> there yeah. is less. I think the street markets and just the different way of life, it's so much more relaxed. Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. We are in my favorite city in Thailand. We are in Chiang Mai. And in this episode, I like to do an old school why or why Chiang Mai. The concept is we're going to approach some random foreign tourists and ask them why they are in Chiang Mai. Why or why Chiang Mai is a conversation starter. And we're just going to talk to some random people here in the streets of Chiang Mai. I hope you're excited. Let's go. I'm on my own. I've yeah. just come from Bangkok. Okay. I'm only here for like a day. So I flew in yesterday. I'm here for a full day and then I'm okay. going down to Phuket tomorrow. Oh, um, wow. I just wanted to see it. That's all. You just want um, to see. I've, I've heard good things. You know, yeah. a lot of my friends have been traveling around here, and they suggested to stop by. And I, yeah. I didn't have long, so I thought might as well. Did you arrive this morning? Uh, no, yesterday. Yesterday. You, yeah. And you're leaving tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What's your plan? What are you doing? Like, um, I think I'm going to go see the three monument, three kings monument, yeah. um, and then just walk around there, just have a look. Yeah. Um, you're staying in the city center, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Nice yeah. Yeah. In the, in the in the old city. Yeah. Can I ask you uh, maybe a rude question? What happened with your chin and uh, your? your... <laughs> so uh, in Bangkok, I was I was in a club. Oh, I yeah. was run, I was running upstairs yeah. stupidly. <laughs> um, and I was a bit too drunk ah, and face planted like that on the no, step. Wow. Six stitches along here and then that and then I've got a broken tooth in here. I stayed in a hotel just off, off yeah. Khao San because okay. I have some Thai friends who I went to school with. Oh, yeah. um, and I, I met them there and yeah. I was out clubbing with them. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was, it was all at about sort of 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. Um, ambulance came, I was bleeding all over oh, here. And, um, so luckily, were your Thai friends still with you? Yeah, yeah. So, so oh. they, they were like my translators in the hospital. Yeah, and stuff. wow. Good. Could have been. Yeah, I mean, I could have broken an arm. Could yeah. have, could have broken my jaw. That's what they thought ha happened. Ah, so. was your night over when you fell? Let's say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I went in an ambulance and everything. Yeah. So, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you insured? Okay, like. Uh, well, hopefully, fingers crossed. Did you have to pay everything? I, I, I paid up front, and oh. then I'll, I'll claim back. It's funny we talk about this actually because we're partnered up with a insurance company, a travel okay. insurance company. I'll yeah. put a link down in the description in case people. Yeah, are yeah. going as well in Southeast Asia yeah. because yeah or anywhere in the world you need to yeah. be insured for this kind of stuff like can yeah happen, definitely like, I mean yeah. I, I I went on holiday thinking oh yeah no need to take out travel insurance <laughs> okay. thankfully I did because ah, yeah, I, yeah I wasn't gonna take any out I, mean, yeah. I was like actually you know what I, I might as well um, and yeah luckily yeah. but yeah, yeah. Man. well good on you and I'm yeah. sure um, hopefully <laughs> everything's gonna yeah, well, yeah. yeah. so I, I need to get the stitches out I think uh, in a couple of days. So, ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're gonna go back to Bangkok for this? Uh, no, I'll probably do it in Phuket. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Hey, um, and how long is your trip in total? Uh, so ten days here, and then nineteen days in Vietnam. I'm flying to KL soon, okay. uh, just for a few days, and then cool. uh, we're also planning a trip to Vietnam. Have okay. you been already, or? I haven't. No, no, no. Again, it's just it's yeah. a place where a lot of my friends have been yeah. on gap years. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Could be anything. Be kind, yeah. yeah. Just, just be kind and, and be grateful for everything, because you never know what's going to happen like this. <laughs> why, oh why, Sheng? Why? What are you doing here? Well, it's a bit of an unusual one. That um, my brother lives in Australia. I've got three months off work, and I said, "I'll come and see you in Australia." And he says, "Well, we're going to Thailand. Why not join us there?" So oh, that's wow. how I end up here. <laughs> Have you been before, like uh, in Thailand? Uh, one day. Oh. Uh, I, I did a cruise. I, I did a cruise a few years back, and uh, it stopped off in Phuket. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I uh, did the James yeah. Bond Island tour, as you would do. Um, how long have you been here now? Uh, it's my fourth day. Yeah, in Thailand or in Chiang Mai? Or? In, in Thailand, Chiang Mai. Yeah. yeah. How is Chiang Mai? I, I'm, I'm loving it actually. It's a, it's a really nice city. Yeah. It's very laid back. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Did, did something happen already that really sticks out here in Chiang Mai? Do you know what? I think the hotel stuck out because yeah. um, it's a really great hotel. Okay. It's called the Ping Vimen. Oh, yeah, Ping Vimen. Yeah, 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 yeah we've been know. there as well. Yeah, nice swim, swimming pool in the middle. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. And it, but you kind of say, hang on a minute, this costs the same as, as like a travel lodge at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, it's just like, wow. Yeah. How do you like the food here? Is it... Um... Uh, do you know what? Hmm? I've just been oh. to a Thai cookery class. Oh, no way. Yeah. Ah, are you a good cook? Uh, let's like, say back home, oh, you like to... I like cooking at home, yeah. but uh, you know, this is going to be a new experience for me because ah. I'm not really, you know, sort of like making a curry from scratch rather than using a, a, a mix and all yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's going to be... Uh, yeah, it's good to take something back home as well. Yeah. So, ah, nice yeah. one, sir. Yeah. And how long is your trip in total here in Thailand? Wait for this, five nights. Oh no! <laughs> so you're, you're, one more night? Yeah. Ah, 
and then you go. Well, going, well, I'll go home day after tomorrow. Yeah. Are you flying back to England? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, I'm, uh, oh. I'm going to the cultural capital of Europe next week. And that is. Belly Dawn. <laughs> yeah, no way. All right. Are you gonna keep keep celebrating your holiday there? Well, like I said, I've got four, three months off work. It's a sabbatical, and yeah. so I've got a, a number of things planned. And Aww. but I'd, I'd already booked Belly Dawn before I booked the sabbatical. So yeah, okay. uh, yeah. So wow. I wish I could stay a bit longer, but yeah, yeah, it's a long flight just for a few nights. But hey, better a few nights than no nights, right here. Yeah, in, uh, yeah. I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Okay, let's consider this the first time in Thailand. Uh, although yeah, you've been, been, yeah, for a first timer, how is Thailand? Let's say, uh, is there a culture shock or? I think the thing that hits you about the people is that uh, they seem to have this amazing customer service that you don't seem to get at home. Okay. I don't know really, you know sit in the Netherlands the same yeah, as yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the, the, everything. Nothing seems to be too much trouble, and the, yeah. uh, and I love the uh, I love the sort of the <laughs> yeah you know it's, they really make you feel welcome. They make you feel uh, as, you know there's nothing too much they can do for you, yeah. and uh, you know at home it's kind of like you know everything's about the money rather than yeah. actual the service and uh, you know yeah. and so I think yeah that stands out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. love, they're just lovely people, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred yeah. percent agree. Hey, I've got one more question. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Uh, <laughs> message to the world: just work hard and uh, save, and try and retire as early as possible, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and enjoy life. Second times here. I mean vacation, but yeah. maybe find a job. But I know he, it's hard to find a job. Yeah, because, yeah. Because um, national preference. It's normal, yeah. but for small job like restaurant or thing like that, it's ah, hard. Yeah. So I don't know, but I'm here for so one month. Are you running out of money, and that's why you want to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think maybe to to I can maybe professor French professor. I want to try that maybe. Ah. Yeah, because uh, small job like I said you, it's complicated here. Yeah. It's normal. Uh, Thai people first. So. Yeah. Mm. French teaching is it? Uh, that's yeah, why yeah, maybe ah. there is a lot of uh, English teachers. Yeah, but French teachers, I think <laughs> there yeah. is less. So maybe, <laughs> maybe this is possible. Maybe there's a market. <laughs> maybe your first time you uh, were here. What did you do? There is a lot of things uh, to do here. Yeah. Uh, so I like to see box, like massage. Uh, Go on the street, go in the temples. Yeah. Visit the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese market. Ah. A lot of things to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And when was the last time you were here? Uh, it was uh, two, two months before. Two months before, I was here for two weeks. Oh yeah. And uh, after that, I was in Laos, Vietnam, oh. and after I come back in Chiang Mai. Because for me, Chiang Mai, it's like the. I like in South Asia, Chiang Mai, to stay. To yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like your favorite place, you would say. One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah for uh, sure. What other place would you say is your favorite place in Southeast Asia? I like Laos. Laos, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, near the four thousand islands for ah, them. in the south. south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like people in Laos. How to say that? Very sweet. Yeah, very, very sweet. They're very kind. Also here, but <laughs> in uh, how to say that Laos, the modern world, don't. Uh, how to say that? Don't yeah. take the Lao. So it's like whole the country, and I like yeah. that. Mm. Ah, okay. Some, something simple. You've okay. been traveling now for yeah. how long? Are you saying? Uh, something like three months. Yeah. And yeah. did you just quit your job in France? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What That's did you do, job. may I ask? I like to change, but um, my last um, job was a sailor, sailor oh. on the river. Where have you been in Thailand? Yeah. Bangkok, Ayutthaya. Chiang Mai and uh, Chiang Kong also. Chiang ah, Kong and yeah, the border. to take the slow boat. Yeah, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, only the north. South is more touristic, I think. Yeah, uh, in Thailand. yeah, yeah for sure. So. Hey man, uh, so the last question now: yeah, Do yeah. you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? A message to the world: uh, Peace and love, uh, my brother and my sister in humanity. Wow. I'm just here for a few days. Yeah. I'm going to Vietnam after, but I'm just on a little solo travel trip. So, oh, nice. yeah, well, how long already? Um, for ten days, so not too long. Oh. Yeah. And uh, what have you been seeing already? Um, so I've been in Chiang Mai for two days so far. But yeah. before I was in Pai, so oh. we went to a lot of waterfalls, a lot of parties. Oh, I love Pai. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really lovely. Was it there, not too yeah. busy? Sometimes it gets a bit busy there. Uh, I feel like we were at a hostel that's quite relaxed, so we had the yeah. pool. So that was a nice little escape. Oh. But yeah, it was it was good fun. Sweet, it was good fun. Sweet. Yeah. And how about Chiang Mai? How how is Chiang Mai at the 
the moment. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's lovely. It's very yeah. lively. The food is absolutely amazing. Yeah. There's so many Michelin guide like restaurants here, uh, which I've been really enjoying. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my oh, favorite wow. thing. The food, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing so far here in Chiang Mai, or best maybe thing. in Thailand? I think the street markets and just the different way of life. It's so much more relaxed and so much more natural. I think it's just yeah. nice being in that environment. Anything that happened in these ten days that is really sticking out? Uh, what in, in a good way? <laughs> uh, both ways, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been overwhelmingly good, but there has been one weird thing that happened in Pai, oh. and there was this uh, this guy who was uh, very sort of racist to me. No but way. like as like a, in a jokey way, but it was it was quite bad. What's that, uh, um, where, where does did the person come from? Uh, not um, to be was, also he racist. Was, but... He was Thai, oh. but I think he just meant it. In, he meant it in a. It was. Just, I think he was a bit drunk. Uh, but yeah, that was the only thing that sticks out when I think of that, oh, but wow. everything else has been amazing. sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Yeah. I think really, um, when it comes to racism here in Thailand, it is yeah. definitely here also. It is here a little bit, yeah, yeah for sure. But compared to other parts of the world, yeah. I think it's maybe less than anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, people but are very kind and accepting yeah. mostly, so it's not an issue at all. Okay. It's just one, some weird individual. Yeah, you always <laughs> have that one guy. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. always one person, <laughs> right? But yeah, it's been uh, great. Okay. <laughs> What's the best thing that happened here? The best thing? Um, meeting some amazing people and just traveling around with them. And uh, I think, yeah, it's so easy to meet friends here because yeah. like a lot of people are solo traveling. Yeah. And you can just go to all the temples together and it's just like really mm. good connection. So I've been asking this a lot to especially female travelers. Yeah. Do you feel safe here in Thailand traveling alone? Yeah, I feel really safe. Yeah. Like, I feel safer than in England, honestly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I lost my purse in Pai and it came back to me on a bus with all my money in it. No all my money in my cards there and my driving go. license. So it's amazing. Best yeah. Thailand for you. It's great. Thank it's you great. so much. Do you have a message to the world? Um, come to Thailand. It's amazing. And yeah. solo travel is better. Why or why Chiang Mai? Like I said in the beginning of this episode, it's just a conversation starter. But I think it's quite interesting to see what people like at the places that we are visiting. We're based in Thailand, showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia, and now we are in Chiang Mai. Just for one episode, actually, we're leaving to KL. We're gonna go to Malaysia, the capital city, Kuala Lumpur, to show you a little bit of insiders of the city. I'm not only showing you my experiences, no, we are also showing you what other people's experiences are, meeting a lot of different people like we did today. Next stop, Kuala Lumpur. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I would like to say from Chiang Mai, my favorite city in Thailand. Bye for now and stay champ.